Hi guys, welcome to Neek Sports. So, the first round of UEFA Nations League games have been underway and they're complete. Um, so now you guys know exactly how it works, right? Mm, not everyone. Loads of people still asking questions. What is this UEFA Nations League? What is it all about? Well, quickly, uh, basically it's just a, a group uh, games which are replacing friendly games really it's competitive football back to international football replacing um, pointless friendlies to make games more competitive um, there are some groups which you can get relegated from some groups you can get promoted from and the top four teams in the top group a go into um, the nation's league semi-final and final which will take place next year um, i'm sure as it goes along you'll pick it up more some places are also up for grabs for a guaranteed playoff place for the euros so if you come top of your group you're guaranteed a playoff place at the euros uh, if you don't qualify automatically through the group stages so that's a quick rundown of the uefa nations league i for one like it i think it's a good uh, tournament uh, I think so far we've seen some very good uh, competitive games. Um, especially we watched the world, I watched the World Champions France um, play Holland and Germany, and I felt like that game, those games were very competitive. The Spain England game as well. Both teams wanted to win. You can tell England fighting to the last minute with a with a late goal disallowed. So you can tell these games are, are really uh, um, getting players more than you know a so-called friendly. Even if it was a big game between like England and Spain. The amount of times you've seen players like halfway through, the goalkeepers have been changed, the, the teams are being changed. And of course, there have been friendlies this week and there still will be friendlies um, going forward. But hopefully this means that people will actually go and watch football and turn up to watch these uh, international games. So yeah, that's quickly uh, the UEFA Nations League group. Uh, and while that's been going on, there's been an announcement this week from UEFA that they are now introducing a new competition to European football. So uh, we've obviously got the Champions League, we've got the UEFA Europa League as well. Um, but now UEFA have included a third competition. That competition is yet to be named. We don't know what it's going to be called yet, but we believe from what we've been hearing that it's going to be another competition sort of underneath Europa League. Um, uh, we don't know how it's going to work or what teams are going to be in it or how many are going to be in it, but we believe... Uh, that all the UEFA want all the competitions uh, to have 32 teams as it stands the Champions League group stages has 32 teams and the Europa League group stages has 48 teams so they want to cut the Europa League stage down from 48 to 32 so I guess a lot of those games will be going into this third competition whatever it's going to be called um, and of course those teams that didn't make it for the qualifiers such as Burnley and Aberdeen and some of the other teams that didn't get through, they'll get a chance um, to play a group stage European football in this new fur competition. Uh, back in the day, I remember the Cup Winners' Cup. Where some of you guys are probably too young to remember that, but in the you know in the nineties and, and before there was a it got scrapped in I think ninety nine, but there was a Cup Winners' Cup. So that was like everyone who won like your domestic cup. So for example, like your FA Cups. Um, your Copa del Rey, all those sort of cups all across Europe, um, they'd go into another competition as well, um, and that'd be called the Cup Cup Winners Cup, um, and uh, the winners of that win the Cup Winners Cup. Um, I know it very well. It's a competition Arsenal won in the past, so um, yes, we do have a European trophy in our locker somewhere. So uh, yes, it's a it's a it's a good trophy. Um, but yeah, this I don't believe is going to be um, about domestic cup winners. So I think this is literally just going to be straight. Um, more games to play in Europe. I like the idea so far. I mean, we've again we've not heard much. We've literally just it's just been announced today, so I've not heard much of it. But so far, from what I've heard, it looks like it's a competition where um, it will give other teams more of a chance to play in Europe. I mean, if you look at Burnley, for example, they had a whole year last year playing, uh, putting their bodies on the line just to get to seventh place. We went up to Burnley last year. Uh, for Nick Sports, we spoke to some of the fans. They were excited again in European tour. Um, some of them were worried about the game time, but it's September now and they're already out because they've had to play what three or four qualifiers starting in July when some of their team were on international duty. Obviously, Nick Pope was in international duty with England, and you know, they're literally coming back, being rushed back, being thrown into the team um, when they've barely had a friendly played yet. And I think 
this will probably take away some of those unnecessary qualifiers as well so you might get one or two qualifiers but it just means that teams are not forced to play um, competitive games in, in July early July it makes no sense I don't understand it I mean Burnley weren't even the first tier of teams that are playing in the European football so some of the guys are literally as soon as the World Cup finishes they're straight into to uh, European football and it's not fair on some teams that are let's just say for example someone like Everton get into you know that competition they'll have a lot of players um, playing in international duty and I don't think it's fair so I, I do like the proposed idea so far but we'll just have to wait and see exactly what happens with it and um, where it stands. But looks like UEFA Nations League is a success so far. I don't really hear any complaints about it. And let's hope that uh, this competition is going to go well. Make sure you check out all of our other videos, guys. And we'll see you soon.